the connection between insanity and adulting. The Souvenirs, Episode 0, by Eric Witt, Electronic Waffle. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Marcus Aurelius, Emperor of Rome, 161 to 180 AD. The Connection Between Insanity and Adulting There is a connection between insanity and adulting. It's not an obvious connection, however, it is worth exploring. We will explore that connection today. We will need to clarify the definitions of both terms before we continue. The Common Definition of Insanity Consider the common definition of insanity. Doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. This response is attributed to many different people. This, however, is not the real definition. The correct definition of insanity. The actual definition of insanity is quite different. One definition includes unsoundness of mind or lack of the ability to understand. A second usage of the term holds extreme folly or unreasonableness, something utterly foolish or unreasonable. The definitions of insanity we will be using. Which of those definitions will we use? Doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. Unsoundness of mind or lack of the ability to understand. Extreme folly or unreasonableness. Something utterly foolish or unreasonable. All of them. Final thoughts on defining insanity. Two final thoughts. The reasons for doing the same things unreasonably are numerous. These actions lack better options or even the understanding of those better options. In a word, you are lost. You do not have a map or even landmarks. Beyond this, you do not have any bearings. Further expense of energy in this state is fruitless. The Common Definition of Adulting The common definition of adulting is a relatively new concept. A term used by the millennial generation, give or take, to define unavoidable yet inevitable tasks that they must endure. These tasks must get done. The only debate is in the quality of our response to them. This is a key concept. The correct definition of adulting. The definitions of adulting are less distinct than the differences in the distinction of insanity. Clarification is still needed. Adulting. Engaging in activities typically associated with adulthood. Adulthood. Taking responsibility for one's own actions and well-being. The definitions of adulting we will be using. A term used by the millennial generation to define unavoidable yet inevitable tasks that they must endure. Adulting. Engaging in activities typically associated with adulthood. Adulthood. Taking responsibility for one's own actions and well-being. Again, we will be using all of these. They too, all fit. Intermission. I'm giving you a slide here to take a breather. That, and we have to talk about algebra. The basic properties of algebra. The algebra of adulting. The common definition of insanity is needlessly complicated. Doing the same things over and over again, 
but expecting different results, assumes that the different result never comes. Compare this with, if we do different things, we get different results. Multiple basic properties of algebra are at play here. When we choose to do different things in effort to obtain the things we want, we are adulting. Once again, when we choose to do different things in effort to obtain the things we want, we are adulting. One final piece of algebra. Good news. That was most of our algebra. Bad news. One piece remains. It's super easy. Going forward, we'll be using the term actions instead of things. The connection. Actions. How we navigate the consequences of our life determines our progress through them, or not. Doing the same actions and expecting different results is unreasonable. The definition of insanity. Both of them. Doing different actions and obtaining different results reflect responsibility. These actions will commonly be through unavoidable, inevitable things. The definition of adulting. Both of them. The quality of action, reaction, and even anticipation inform the common connection between insanity and adulting. The actions of insanity. Refer back to my final thoughts on insanity. The reasons for doing the same things unreasonably are numerous. These actions lack better options, or even the understanding of those better options. In a word, you are lost, without a map or even landmarks. You will have no bearings. You are wasting energy and also spinning your wheels. How to make things different. The definitions we are using frequently employ the terms different and same. How do we make things different? Records. We need to record our actions and form a type of save state or save file. Then we can progress from there. We make changes based on our own records. The only difference between screwing around and science is writing it down. Adam Savage, Mythbuster. Journaling. Finally, there is indeed an apparatus you can use to reflect, record, review, and refine the actions of your life. Keep an analog pen and paper journal. We will cover this formally in future episodes. Not bullet journaling. The purpose here is reflecting to strategize not forecasting to populate the future with pre-made tactics. This is simply an inventory of how your day went, and in general, how your life is going. This is a body of knowledge that you can use to record, review, and refine to inform your life going forward. Journaling, Part 2. In fact, this entire series, The Souvenirs, will cover all aspects of journal keeping. The next episode will cover how I keep a journal, and how I have kept a journal since the year 2000, and how it too has evolved. In future episodes, I will also share the best take-home truths I have found in my journaling journey. I have called these truths souvenirs. How to journal. For the most part, journaling can be whatever you make it. The fact that you are journaling is, by far, more important than how. As I stated earlier, I prefer analog journals. A computer cannot compare to the actual physical feeling of writing with pen and paper. A pen and paper journal also has much easier troubleshooting, power management, and compatibility. Write anything and everything. Minimum of one page. The maximum is up to you. Over time, you will find how you want your entries to look. Try this for a minimum of one week, daily. How to, part two. 
Eventually, you may want to use symbols and abbreviations for the topics you cover a lot. These become your landmarks. Your journal entries become your map. You will move from being lost in sanity and into taking responsible action, reaction, and anticipation to consequence, the definition of adulting. Journaling helps you to reflect, record, refine, and review the actions taken in your life. This practice will form a mental armory that will house and hone your weapons of reason. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Marcus Aurelius, Emperor of Rome, 161 to 180 AD. The connection between insanity and adulting. The Souvenirs, Episode 0, by Eric Witt, Electronic Waffle.